I, in the book, I talk about strategic patience and um, strategic patience is is kind of my uh, antidote to regular patience, which I just <laughs> don't really like at all because it seems so so passive. But um, you know, for strategic patience, you you understand that things are going to take longer than you want. You don't necessarily like it. You don't have to like it, but it might take longer than you want. But you're doing things. You're taking action. You're coming up with hypotheses. You're testing things. You're adjusting it. You're not just like waiting, like, oh, maybe something will happen, right? And so waiting for the raindrops and looking for the raindrops is is really powerful because I think where a lot of people go wrong is they get so fixated on the final outcome, you know, which mm-hmm. in our metaphor here, we can call the thunderstorm. And that's like, oh, well, it's a New York Times bestseller. Or, oh, well, you get to be the keynote speaker at the mm-hmm. huge conference. Those things really take a while. And it's very easy for us, if that's all we're fixated on, to sort of um, talk down or to negate some of the smaller victories. You know, it's like, hmm. you know, well, um, you know, you you start to, you know, you go from nowhere and then you start to get invited on a couple of podcasts. Well, but nobody listens to those podcasts. Yeah, but, okay, it doesn't have to be Oprah. It's that you went from nobody knowing who you were to a couple of random people knowing who you are. That's mm. actually progress. Like, you know, I know you want it to be bigger and faster and better, but to understand that to have anybody calling you up and asking you to be on their show that is a victory and we need to understand it as such and not uh get snooty about it but instead to really appreciate okay this is what it looks like to hmm. make progress this is what it looks like to be getting there i think hmm. that's powerful 